I could hold out my hands, say I love you this much. I could tell you I love, I will love your touch. How much and how far would I go to prove the depth and the breadth of my love for you? From here to the moon and back Who else in this world will love you like that? Love everlasting, I promise you that From here to the moon and back From me to the moon and back I want you to know you can always depend On promises made and love without end No need to wonder how faithful I'll be And I need to eat it from me to the moon and back. What in this world will love you like that? Forever and always, I'll be where you are. This is the Regent family yeah. on the Stable of Regent Relationship Clinic. My name is Damilari McDavid and I'm known as Mr. Regent. I am Olavisi David and we have our David Didi here today. Yes. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Yeah. So this is the third series on our discussion. The topic that says making good use of the COVID-19 moment. We've been able to touch the area of how to make good use medically, socially, financially. Now we want to talk about marriage. Basically, we'll, today we'll be talking, we'll be touching three points. The first is forgiveness, the second is friendship, and the third for today is building sexual intimacy. I'll be starting with the first one, which is forgiveness. I remember some months ago, we went on prison evangelism and we saw a very young, pretty lady. And um, she was in prison because um, she maybe mistakenly or intentionally killed her husband. But from the report we got, it was based on infidelity. And um, by now, as at the time we were there, she was regretting that she actually indulged in such um, act. But it was already too late. And the same way we have a lot of people, a lot of men, a lot of women that are angry at their spouses. Maybe because of one or two things that the spouse has done. It could be as a result of cheating, infidelity, maybe lack, maybe on money or any other thing. But I want you to know that now that you're going to be having a lot of time to spend together at home because our government has made a decree that everybody should stay at home. You need to forgive your husband. You need to forgive your wife. In respective of what has been done. You know, you have bottled a lot of things inside of you. You are angry. Yes, it is worth it. But now, for your own sake, because you go out in the morning and come back at night, the man goes out in the morning and he comes back at night, you may not have a lot of time to, to actually ruminate on those offenses. But now that you are both staying at home, seeing the man sitting in front of you, may make you to get a little bit more angry and um, if you're not careful you can do what you don't want to do you can do what you can end up regretting so why don't you forgive and start a new shit there's no marriage without its own challenges forgive that man forgive that woman and let this COVID-19 moment be 
an opportunity for you to start in another good and lovely and love life. And moving to the next point, we'll talk about friendship. Friendship is the basis for a good and healthy marriage. Yeah. There's no two way about it. You must be friends of each other. Mm. The best of lovers are the best of friends. You must be friends, irrespective of your age difference, irrespective of how you met, where you met. So long as you're now married, you must be friends to each other. There's nothing like, am I your mate? Why are you talking to me like that? Definitely. Friendship also comes with respect, but the place of friendship cannot be emphasized. You must be able to talk as friends, play as friends, gist as friends, fight like friends, and then correct each other like friends. Wow. You play around. Do not allow social media to take up the place of your spouse. Entertain yourselves as friends. You can play together. There are days that you can just all day and not even remember to switch on your TV mm. because you both, your souls are intertwined and you are you're enjoying each other's company. In this period, you must be able to enjoy each other's company. You must be happy to be home with your spouse. Whether your husband or your wife play together, pillow fights, police and thief, those childhood plays, it's now time to bring them back, to spice up your own. This COVID-19 moment is an opportunity for you to build your sexual intimacy. This is very important. It has caused a lot of issues in marriage. You can be so surprised, shocked, that husband and wife will be living through the same and did not add um, sexual intimacy in the past two months, three months. It's not LD. It's not about saying it's sex food. And I, as I used to say, yes, sex is food. Yeah. God made us we are made spirit, soul, and body, and we are still body formed. And this body needs food and it needs sex. So if you keep saying it's sex food, yes, it is food of the body. And uh, God made sex. He made it for pleasure. He made it for procreation, and he made it for bonding. Couples that have all this sex together, they tend to bond. They, both, they tend to emotionally connect. If you see lovers that are so intertwined, as my wife said, you can see that one of their strengths is a good and healthy sexual intimacy. Now, this COVID moment that the government has said that everybody should stay at home, now it's an opportunity for you to make up for so many things. Number one, make up for the frequency of your sex. Number two, make up for the timing of your sex. Number three, Make up for the creativity of your sex life. Yeah. Now, making up for the frequency of your sex. We've been told that under a normal circumstance, a healthy marriage should at least involve sexual intimacy between the husband and wife three or four times in a week. And I don't think sex is too much against the mind that we've had. Okay, my wife is a pharmacist. Maybe there's any medical issue if you keep having sex often with your Please tell me. Three to four times a week is okay, and there are no medical implications for that. In fact, from what we have heard, there are more advantages when you keep involving in constant sexual intimacy as husband, as and wife, wife, not as boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, please. that's fornication. Now, make up for those intimacy. Yes, I know that you need to go out to make ends meet, go out very early in the morning, you come back late at night, and most of the time, you don't have that opportunity to have them. Um, good sexual lifestyle even sometimes when you come back you're already stressed out of fatigue maybe because of traffic the distance from your work to your home now this is an opportunity for you to make up for those times have sex have sex have sex make love make love and make love then number two it is an opportunity for you to keep boredom in your mind to bed yes there are a lot of things that make a lot of things that make sex boring and that's why we don't want to give it a priority in our marriage because we already know how it will be, how long it will be, where it will be and it seems like <laughs> what is it? It's no more interesting. Now this is an opportunity, you have enough time. Our men, there's no more European League, there's no more English League, no more Premiership, no more league. Champions League, no more Canopillas playing. For now everything is on reset. So you have opportunity to bond. You have opportunity for you to change if you keep having sex. Let's say sex is always 1 a.m., 1 a.m., 1 a.m. 
it is an opportunity for you to watch. By the time you try another time, it will suggest to your brain that it is a new experience. You can try it early in the morning, you can try it in the morning, you can try it in the afternoon, you can try it at night. It's not, it should not be midnight, midnight, midnight alone. Then you can change the place. If you have enough, a very enough room, fine, good. You can change from your bedroom to a visitor's room that is empty. Is it always on the bed? You can change from bed, go to the floor. You can change from the floor, go to the seat. This thing, explore. just explore. And this thing suggests to the brain that this is another experience entirely and it makes it interesting. It makes you feel like, oh, this is what I've done, what I've done today is different from what we did yesterday. Another thing is explore your creativity. Have you been on missionary? Try a lot of variations. There are a lot of variations that you can explore that make sense interesting. If you keep having it the, only, the, the same way every time, it will be boring. And to be like... And even for men that have quick ejaculation issue, if you're able to explore your variations, your other positions, it will even help you without you taking all those drinks that will affect you negatively elsewise. Changing position can even help you to stay longer because by the time you use five minutes on this style and before your ejaculation you change another style before you know it it will and make your wife to enjoy to enjoy it a little bit more longer so all the stages you are having it will no longer be there again as we also pray that the lord should heal our land and let this covid 19 pass away on time Amen. we can still make a good use a judicious use of the little time you have to help your family make your to forgive, to become friends, and to what spice up your marital bed. And we'll be waiting to receiving your testimonies. Yes. Follow us on our social media platforms at Regen Relationship. We're sending you love and light. Take good care of yourselves. Please stay safe. We love you. We love you. Bye bye. bye.